Last time we saw how we can extend components and also include different components in the different sections. So in this video, we're going to be working on the header component. So since the header is going to be used in multiple places, we're going to need to configure it so that it works the way we want it to work. So for us to be able to keep moving fast, we don't really want to be writing down the CSS for everything, the menus, the lists, because that's not what this tutorial is about. So we're going to be using semantic UI to like use some UI components so that we can move faster and only focus on the Django stuff. So to get started, we need a way to include semantic UI in our application. So we can come back over here. We need the most minimalistic setup that we can find. So let's go ahead and look for the CDN. So I'm going to type here semantic UI CDN. We also want only the CSS. We don't care about JavaScript. It's going to load up. We want CSS. So this just going to copy the link tag and you know where we can include it in the base. So I'm going to come back over here and include this CSS file. And now if we come back to our application and refresh, is that now our header is looking different and we are using a different font for all this. So now to continue when it comes to the header, I'm going to go to the header component. So over here, I'm going to bring in this HTML. So this is basically HTML. If we save and take a look here, let me refresh. You see that we have like this drop down. We have the link to create a to do, these links to login and log out. And here we should have an image. In fact, let's first fix that. So we know we are loading static. So here where we have the logo, let's use our syntax to get to get in our logo. So you know we do static and then the URL. So the URL here is gonna be of course img slash logo png and save. So let's come back over here and so now we have the logo being shown. So now this HTML here, you can pause the video and copy it out if you are following along or you can quickly grab it from our GitHub repo, which I will leave the link in the description. But basically all it is, it is just these list items with the semantic classes. So they look better. So feel free to pause the video and copy them out. I'm going to be taking off this terminal here so you guys can see most of it. So right now, this is how it is. We have that div with the menu. So we have the container to make sure things don't go here or here. Then now we have the right items, which are these. And on the left, we have the logo over there. So, so we also have these other links to basically do other things. So feel free to copy it out. I guess you now you can view all of it. Okay, so moving forward, we don't really want to show links like create to do when a user is not logged in. We don't even want to show this when the user is not logged in. We only want to show login and register. So whenever you're in the context of a template, you have access to a few things that Django basically gives. So whenever you're in a template, you have access to the request context. So the request is what contains things state like if a user is logged in or not. So what we want to do now is to use the request context. We can come back over here and we use these tags here. Of course, we've seen them before. So here we can do if request. Then we want to do dot user. Then we want to do is authenticated. So this gives us a true or a false value. So whenever a user is authenticated, then we want to go ahead and show them the create to do and also the logout button. Okay, so that should stop over here. So I'm going to move it inside here. So I'm going to bring it here. And then, so here we can have an else. So to have an else, we also want to do that syntax and this now have else. So else we want to show them login and register. Let's move this one. And at the end, let's go ahead now and end our if. So here we can have end if. So end if like this and save. So now if you come back to the application and refresh, you see that the user is not logged in and we can only see login and register. So what we want to do is work on these, uh, these links here and make them work. So user can click here and they navigate. So to make those work is we could go here. Let's, let's go here and, and create a create to do HTML. And maybe here we say create to do. Okay, let's also remove this. Also, we could also come here in authentication and have the login. So I'm going to bring in this because we need to extend the base and all this other stuff. So here in the login, we can have this and maybe say login here. Similarly, we want to do the same thing for register. So we can come here and say register here like this. So here in the in the header, we need to be putting these hrefs points to URLs. So you would, you would be tempted to just link to the templates. But what you want is we want to link to the URLs. 
So we need to first create the other URLs for login and also register. So let's go here and create a urls.py. So we also need the views for register and login. So we can have def register text in request. So we want to render the register template. So we return render. Then the template is going to be in authentication. Slash register like this. So let's also have the one. Let's also have the one for login. So it's gonna be login here, and this should be dot html. Similarly, should have dot html here. Okay, so we need to wire these in our URLs. So if we took a look at how we wired the ones in to do, so in these URLs we have the URL patterns. I'm gonna copy these and just come back over here and bring them in. So we're importing views. So once when the user goes to login, we want this guy route to the login view. And also we work with the register. So now once we have these, we need to wear them in our main application routing, of course. So we're gonna go in our main routings for folder and also bring them in so we can do this. So here, let's have the auth, and this is gonna be authentication dot URLs. So now we can save this. So also let's create the so let's create a URL to create a to do. So here we are going to create a view called create to do. So let's also give it a name create say dash to do. So let's go ahead and create this view. Of course, we need it. Uh, create to do. And we are going to be rendering create to do dot html. So hopefully if we did everything correctly, if we come back to our server, it should still be up and clicking login. So right now when we click this, nothing works. So we need to wire that one up. So if we go back to our header, if we wanted to access the login URL, we would come over here and we use this syntax here. So like this, then we use the URL utility. So when you use the URL, we can put an, a name for the, for the, the URL itself. So we can have login here. Similarly, we can have the same thing. And by the way, we don't need this here, so let me remove them. So we can have the same thing for the register. And save. So if we came back and click to login, you see that we come here in login here, click register, and we have register here. So in the next video, I'm going to come in, we start working with the models. So thanks guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.